Greetings loyal subscribers and honoured guests. The latest issue of Zap Microgames has just been sent out in PDF form to Patreon subscribers and as usual it came along with a zip archive containing the cover mount files. There are four games to enjoy this time and I think they're all pretty interesting. You will also receive the full version of the Quill 4 word parser edition and the matching version of the Illustrator to go alongside it. These are very powerful and fully featured utilities that will allow you to create your own text-based adventure games and then artwork to go alongside them, should you so desire. The programs are quite complicated and will take quite a while to fully learn, but the full manuals are included alongside the programs for you to study. I won't be showing any footage of these in the video, my focus is on the games, but I did want to just take a moment to mention them. The cover star of this issue is Bagman Strikes Back, which gets the full review treatment from the team a few pages into the mag. That's quite enough intro waffle from me though, let's get on with looking at the games. First up we have Jungle Joe, which at first glance may well remind you of platformers like Pitfall, Rick Dangerous or the more recent Sydney Hunter games. There is a much greater influence on puzzles in this one though. On every screen you have a very limited number of wooden bridges or ladders that you can build, with the option to collect more within the environment. These have to be laid carefully so that you can reach the exit and bypass any hazards, such as large gaps or deadly snakes along the way. If you see a golden idol lying around, you are also advised to collect it, as according to the manual it will be very important later, though I personally don't know why just yet. As the levels go on, you, there will also be switches that have to be activated with heavy boulders to open up the exit gates. I found Jungle Joe to be very tricky even on the early levels. Thankfully there is a password system built in, so you can always resume where you left off. Quite a nice little game if you enjoy head scratches. Next is a tile-based strategy game called Shallow Domains, which I also struggled to get the hang of while I was checking it out. To be fair, there is a full description of exactly what you should be doing throughout the tutorial level in the manual, but I decided to try and go it alone to see if I could beat it. I could not. So it's worth the time reading through the tutorial so that you fully grasp the game mechanics. I assumed the game would play a lot like something like Advance Wars, but strangely you move and you attack on different turns. The game has a fog of war system as well and I struggled to locate exactly where the enemy base was. The simple graphics and the turn based gameplay work pretty well on the Commodore 64 and the controls are quite good too, with full joystick controls being possible once you learn how to access the icons for ending your turn and stuff like that. Not my sort of game personally, but could have a lot to offer for the more strategic types out there. Game number three is another offering from regular Zap contributor Richard Bayliss and The Next Dimension, with an exclusive game called Little Nippers DX. On each level you will see a beach scene with eight buckets along the bottom of the screen. A ten second timer will start counting down above one of these buckets and it is your job to press fire at the correct time so that you launch a crab and get it to collide with one of the children playing on the beach. If you miss all the children, the crab will go into the deep part of the ocean and be lost. Children that are further away from the buckets are worth more points than those close by. You have a limited number of total crabs and it's game over if all of them are lost in the sea. As long as you keep colliding with children on each turn though, you will get them back. Your stock of leftover crabs are turned into points at the end of each level and then you advance onto the next one with a more demanding quota and faster children. Should you get through all eight levels, you move up to the next skill level, which is even more frantic. I played this one for quite a while and it was quite nice and easy to understand and get into. After I got used to things I do think skill level 1 was a bit too tame for me, so I'll try starting on a higher skill setting next time. I didn't find this quite as addictive as Tasered in the Crotch from a few issues ago, but it was still very enjoyable nonetheless.
The final game this time around is a demo of Mike Mech, another single screen platform game where the emphasis is thankfully on your dexterity with the controls rather than the puzzles this time. This is one of those games where you have to touch every platform on the screen and change their colour, with the reason being that you are charging up batteries this time around. As you do so you have to avoid the deadly aliens that are bouncing around and generally getting in the way. From time to time there will be optional bonus doohickeys for you to collect. This is a fun game that benefits greatly from having the fire button as jump rather than up, which never feels very precise. The main sprite Mike and the little aliens are cute and nicely drawn, and overall the game shows a lot of promise. Now that C64 collections are starting to come out for the Evercade, I could see this one fitting in on that console perfectly, so I do hope future collections feature brand new indie games as well as licensed classics. That brings another episode to a close, and I think my favourite was Little Nippers DX, closely followed by the Mike Mech demo. I do think the other two games are well done as well, but I don't enjoy anything that makes my brain hurt too much. The puzzles in Jungle Joe and the strategy in Shallow Domains are just a bit beyond my reach. Episode 25 of Classic Cover Tape Chaos Zapped will be along in two weeks time, and then the final episode of the season two weeks after that. Until then though, thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, then please consider leaving a like, subscribing and sharing on social media. See you again on the next one, and in the meantime, take care.